What is up, ice fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to an all new episode. Oh, I love this ice fishing stuff. We're out on the ice right now. I'm on the lake. I got the meat man with me, and uh, something special I wanted to do today. I was due to get another rod or two, um, mainly for the kids, and I got a few reels laying around the house, and I just wanted to do something different. I've been using, I don't get me wrong, I love my tickle stick rods. And I've been using them now for, I don't know, five, six years, something like that. And I want to do something different, so I picked up this, cheap, well, you'd say cheap, I say budget, whatever. Little ice fishing rod at uh, Farm and Fleet for nine bucks. It's made by HT, and it's their Icy Blue, Ice Blues rod. And this is a 24-inch super light action, the IB24. Super sensitive, just a little noodle rod, cheap. It does have the uh, um, the real seats here, which if you want, I would probably prefer taking them off and using loops, whatever you want to call them. But they're on there. I didn't have any loops on hand, so I just threw this 13 fishing uh, ghost on there. Meat man, let me borrow it to try it out. He's trying to get me to buy it from him. <clears throat> But don't pay attention to that because that's not anywhere close to a $9 reel. But what I'm going for today is the rod. That's what I wanted to show you guys. You don't really need expensive rod to catch panfish. Sure, it's nice. Sure, it helps out. The tickle sticks are crazy awesome. I love them. Uh, they're like 50 bucks. But I'm going to take the day today back here in the back of this bay, use this rod, and uh, see if we can catch some bluegills, some crappie, whatever's going to bite. So I got a little uh, Cadis cane on there with a little white Jurassic Plastics bone bug and let's go to work see if we can catch some bluegills. Stay tuned folks, donkey hunting starts right now. Oh yeah. I said it's definitely soft but it's alright. I think. Come on, Gooch. Get ripping some holes. See? It's goofy. Goofy. Hey, goofy. Huh? All right, let's see if we can do some work. Got some fish down there. Holy crap, I'm hooked up. Little baby ringer. Yeah, you do, meat man. You got a little baby sled. You need a big boy sled. I do. I do. So we're gonna go for a walk. See if we can find some more active fish. Maybe some bigger fish. I think I caught three or four. I caught two here. And meat caught two. One small ring perch and a little baby bluegill. Yeah. Well, let's go for a walk and get sweaty. Got him. Thank you, buddy. 
There we go. Not too bad of one right there. We'll eat. Suspended. This is the deepest hole I've I've been in yet. So it's just over 12 feet. A couple fish suspended and they wouldn't do nothing. Here comes one. Here comes a fishy. Got him. This one feels okay. I've said that before and it's been perch. Decent gill. Not a big, big one, but not terrible. Coming up now, and a whole bunch of fish. Are you gonna fight over it? You see a bluegill fight? Got him. Little perch. Got him. Definitely got to play cat and mouse with him today. That'll work. Fever? Yep. Color? Red. Fat guy problems, huh? What's that? I said fat guy problems. Yep. Ooh, that guy hammered it. This feels like a good fish. Keep you out of the cable. Yeah, That'll work. Yes, sir. A whole bunch of them come in. He choked it. Got him. What's that? The sun is showing up just to <laughs> pass the day up. Fuck around for a while, get my shit ready. Catch a drink. In there, bud. Gotcha. Trickery to get this dude. See you, buddy. Thanks for tasting. Got him. And this guy came shooting up. I wasn't ready, I was messing with my reel. 
little angry dude. Messing with my reel and I just seen a mark come flying up off the bottom. He meant business. K drill and a DeWalt. I feel like a trader. This is like a kid's toy. Does this even cut a hole? Yeah. I'm just kidding. It is different though. Alright. Time to do a little moving around. I just went out more in the center of this bay. Mountain over. Got some weeds finally. Looks like the weeds come up to about six and a half feet. See if we can see if they're in the weeds here. We are hanging out just on the outside of the weeds. That's where we've been catching them. That's where we've been fishing at least. Got him. Don't be a little perch. It feels like a good bluegill. Yes, sir. Look at that freaking rod bent right over. Richard. Yes, sir. Got some weeds out here. Got him. Not a bad one. Nothing like the one I just caught, but same hole. Very next drop. Got him. Gillian and the skipper too. Off your way to freedom, buddy. There you go. Periscope down. Good later on tonight. See what you got there, mate. Bring him down here closer. Lee man just caught himself a donk. Yeah, some nice Sammy's for you guys. Yeah. All right. Put it back in. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the old man left. And the meat man. Left. <laughs> There he is. Not bad. Yeah, good little eater right there. Got him. Switched to white. And I got him. Good punkin. Nice punkin. Yeah. Look at that dude. White bone bug. That'll work.
There he is. I am a, a mess. Ooh, that's a good in the vet in the cable today. <clears throat> that's a good bluegill right there. Nice chunk. Probably an eight. Eight a little over eight probably. Tall. Got some dig. We got some dig. Perch. Ain't a bad one either. Nice. Nice. Ain't too bad of a perch. That's good. Yeah. Time for the traditional Sammy. meat man. Three deep peanut butter, jalapeno jelly. Jalapeno bacon jelly. Jalapeno bacon jelly. And mayonnaise sandwich. And mayonnaise. Dude. Mm -hmm. mm. There he is. This guy feels decent. Oh yeah. He betcha switched to a red ant. Angry ant. They were just looking at the white bone bug. Couldn't get nothing to commit to it. They'd come flying up to it. I've caught some good ones today on it. It's one of them days we're just switching around. Trying to catch them off guard, maybe. There he is. That one feels really good, actually. Nice gill. The old red ant. What's that mean? I say, well, today you have to <coughs> pound the bottom and then bring it up about two, three feet and then let them you know, raise it up and then they'll chase it. So they're like wanting to play with their food today. Yep. So, definitely. A lot, of, a lot of cat and mouse today. Yep. That's going to be a wrap, folks. Me and Meat are going to head home. We each got a decent amount of fish, you know, to make a meal out of. So, overall, I was pretty impressed with this little $9 rod that I was using today. It's a it's a fun little rod. And uh, the cool thing about them is anybody can go grab one. They sell them at Walmart, Farm and got Fleet. <laughs> oh, look at that. Way to interrupt me. Yes. God. Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted by the meat man, uh, you can get them at Walmart, Farm and Fleet. They're nine bucks, and uh, they're pretty sensitive. And like, if you're just getting into ice fishing or something, and you just want to get three or four rods, go check them out. Um, had a lot of fun with it today, and I'm probably going to use it again later. How about that ghost reel? Yeah, that ghost reel is pretty nice too. It's always for sale, brother. <laughs> I think every fish we caught today was on either the bone bug or the. Uh, Angry ant. Angry ant. Yeah. I tell you what, I like the bone bug. I really go with the bone bug than the angry ant, but they both work great. Oh. Just gotta figure out. Figure out what they want. Yes. All right, folks. If you have not yet subscribed to Two Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell to so get notified every time we put out a video. Clobber that thumbs up button. Luke and the Meat Man signing off. Always remember, never too fat to fish. Deuces. Uh -huh.